Hello, welcome to Awesome Bros. And this week, yes, I'll be cleaning up your dirty glassware. So obviously, dirty glassware, it's shitty, no one likes it, it's everywhere out there on the internet, and it gets on my nerve pretty much every single day. Yes, I look old, I look grumpy, but instead of turning all this into a negative thing and pointing out it to every single people, obviously there's good accounts out there doing this already, like the dirty glassware police, but I'm not here to police anyone, I'm here to have some fun and I've decided to clean up your dirty glassware pictures using Photoshop, obviously, so technically it's already something that I'm using editing my own pictures when I'm not level where there's bubbles sneaking in. Yes, sometimes I have bubbles in my own beer pictures, but I'm here to kind of like showcase a little bit the workflow and have some fun laughing about it, um, seeing maybe some very dirty glassware that you might not like, but we'll solve this all together. So get yourselves ready and let's dive into Photoshop right now. Now, but let's put the headphones on. All right, so let's clean up our first dirty glassware that we have right here. It's a, it's a small one, it's not, it's not a big one. It, we're, you shouldn't be uh, scared about this. We're going the right way, we're going the easy way. It's simple, easy, we're starting with this. So it's a beer from uh, Brasserie here in Quebec, uh, Emporium. A fantastic little brewery. It's a little sour with cherries. Uh, to be honest, it's the picture looks looks cool. Like there's a little bit of texture with the wood right here. A little bit of that nice label. We can see all the details about it. The bottles in the back. Uh, obviously, a little bit over abuse of the portrait mode uh, right here. It's something that I always ate. But again, who am I to judge? So. Bubbles, you can see them, they're right here, and I'll start right off with zooming in to see all those tasty, nasty bubbles. So, um, what what tool I like to use is this selector tool that just rounds things up so perfectly. Delete, oh no. Boom, oh, it's so easy, so simple. Wow, look at that. Could you look at that? Let's remove some of those little bubbles right here. I'm nitpicky, but since we're here, why not fix everything that we don't like in this picture so in the future we can learn from it and take better pictures when we're on Instagram. Sounds like a win, sounds like a win. Um, all right, overall, like, looks good. I like the head, unfortunately, I don't think we can recover this right here. It's lost, it's lost in the, background uh, when doing the portrait mode. So let's go back to see how better it looks. I think it looks nice. It looks much better. So stiletto, nice little cherry sour, problem solved. We cleaned up this glassware. But I have another one. So let's jump into the next one. Oof, 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 oh. Wah, 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 oh, wah, wah, this is nasty, wah, 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 okay, let's solve this, picture looks cool, like high quality, uh, there's some sun right here, I think I found this one on Facebook, uh, through the Facebook group Capsule, which is, it's a great, nice uh, Facebook group made for craft beer lovers out there in Quebec, so um, let's solve this one, also it's a very old beer, so, Obviously, I don't think it's a new one. I hope so because you look at the label, it's the old branding, the old arches from Brasserie du Ciel, if you remember them. Uh, but this abyss was a nice peppercorn uh, uh, rye beer. I just read the label. I'm that smart. So let's let's clean up that last one while I'm talking a little bit. So um, as you can see, there's plenty of it right here. It's easy, right? You see them. It's just a simple thing to just maybe swirl around the beer, get rid of it a little bit. And you can see, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if there was a sip taken in this glass, but obviously you can see that there's a lot going on. I, I don't, I even think that there's some deposit in the beer you can see floating around. Uh, I won't screw up too much with this because obviously I can't like just replace the whole beer in Photoshop. 
but again um, using that nice little patch tool I love it uh, to get rid of those bubbles it's easy simple and also it blends well with uh, the different tones you can get in the beer you can see right here we have a challenge um, with that little bendy curve that we have uh, coming I guess from the table I'm not sure um, but we got it solved so fun right um, but if you're listening to this and you don't want to be let's say targeted or <laughs> featured uh, on the show up uh, maybe you'd like to be featured on the show and you want your dirty glassware to find its way on the Upsend Bros channel um, then I would highly recommend just having a double check before you take your own beer pictures with your phone um, it, it, like I complained a little bit about portrait mode a little bit earlier there's always some kind of like tweaks and settings you can play with them making sure the glassware doesn't disappear every single time you take a picture but for the bubbles I highly highly recommend just having a look at it and what I do for my own bubbly beers because sometimes it's not about that the beer is dirty uh, not the beer but the glassware dirty it's because um, there's some sediment uh, that was left in the glass obviously this is dirty but um, there's some kinks or damages inside the glass that creates those bubbles you can get rid of them by just taking not a pen but something like a spoon that you can just swirl and get rid of it at the same time you can give it a little spool to revamp up those nice head and create more mousse on top of your beer this this is an fc one <laughs> like uh, there's a lot going on in here uh obviously it's it's a lot of lot of small work but again um using sharpening those photoshop skills uh once again because it's been a while uh, like since i've been on like on upside bros obviously i work on or thumbnails uh with photoshop but um never really get the opportunity to work as hard like i used to when i was at school you know like replacing your full face with uh uh, something else adding mustaches or a, a beard or whatever like before I was able to grow one you know uh, let's keep those nice like brown hues brown beards aren't they nice <laughs> oh my god I love it I, like I love doing this it's so much fun oh my god let's let's see oh yeah works works there's chunks everywhere. <laughs> oh, we can't save that beer. It's too late. Oh, it's a chunky one. Look at that. Oh no, we can't, we can't. Ah, let's do a little bit of that. Um, there we go. Yeah, I guess it helps, but it's still, like even the computer processes it at chunks in the beer because they're like, there's too much. It's part of the picture, right? Um, but yeah, I think, I think we have something, it, like it, it's solved. We fixed this one, put the zippers, glassware, it's done. It's clean, clean. Don't need to, to wash it off now. It's, I did this all for you. So bam, let's dive into the next one. Whew, we have a cool lineup today. Oh, let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. All right, so this one add a little like stamp to kind of like recognize, I guess, the one that take the picture. It's super artsy. It's vibrant. Uh, it's a smoothie. Once again, uh, will I ever, ever love them? Not sure. Not sure. But uh, I made sure to blur out that logo so we don't see it and we can dive into this cleaning part of the process with this fantastic brew juice with marshmallows uh there's a lot of going a lot of it going on and i think it's also an issue with those smoothie beers since they're very thick you can see like there's some places around it that we i guess we can't really get rid of all the bubbles but um obviously like it's because of the thickness of the beer it creates some sort of layer for air to get in so you can see those are inside the glass but in the beer 
and those are like the glass impacting it so i'm pretty sure i can't really solve all of it because it looks like a messy one and to be honest smoothies they are they are messy but brisky does does good ones i like that i have to be honest they have very good smoothie beers so this one's gonna be an extreme makeover um because yeah i have way too much clean up here there's a lot of damage on this one. Oh my god Oof. look at the filth oh my god. and we can't really lose that nice glare artsy glare that was using there so let's just dive into this i'm gonna get uh where's my tool hey look at that not that bad and, and, and you are the judge. Let me know if I'm doing something right or a, it's obviously wrong. Uh, you are the one watching. Technically, it's so much fun. <laughs> oh, I like it. Um, yeah, a little bit more glare in there. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a filthy one. If I move back, it's much better. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something good. I'm doing something good. Um, it does look like sparkles, so I'm gonna keep them right here. Um, let's move up here if I get the tool here. Um, there's some left here, but I think we could probably salvage a little bit of it. Nah. Let's see how the computer reacts to this. Maybe I, like, I can solve everything with that. Yeah, not perfect, but eh, it does, does the trick. It's crazy how good computers, uh, not computer, but computer programs are getting at uh, basically like getting rid of stuff by like just being aware of where they are and their own environment on the picture, uh, analyzing colors, replacing them. It's, uh, I've been like blown away with how well they perform lately. And it, it's so easy to use it also. Like obviously you need to get the license to do it, but it's it's so fun like i just enjoy doing that and ever since like it's been part of my process when i do take beer pictures um if if you want to check my beer pictures check out ops and bros on instagram it's we're, we don't only do youtube we are on instagram we don't post that often because obviously um you can see how finicky i am with the pictures in general i'm a perfectionist so for me um, having clean glassware is essential, but also nice lighting, proper leveling, and all that. So, technically, I think we saved this one. Does it? Maybe a little bit more right here. Like, there's a little bit of, like, softness maybe we can create here. Um, if I delete some of those increments here. Not increments, but... Um, like weird tones obviously it's low res pictures i'm working with just like save ones that i got from instagram um but this looks like it's smoothing things out smoothie things out <laughs> uh i'm allowed i'm allowed i'm a dad now so i can do dad jokes uh if you want the dad joke cards get a baby simple <laughs> all right uh, perfect so this right here boom all right looks like we have a winner here i think i solved it it, it was it was a hard one like you can still see some up there but i do think that if we look at it through our feed we can't really actually see it because it blends well with the artsy tone that the photographer did for this one so good job brewski keep up the smoothie beers maybe one day i'll fell in love with one of them for now still i don't know so there we have it we solved the dirty glassware problem on this first episode of chris clean it clean cleans this fuck clean your glassware i guess do you have a better episode name for it i don't know i i really enjoy doing that so if you have any dirty glassware pictures laying around, please do send them to Ops and Bros. Tag us into them, send them into the DM. Uh, don't be like 
obnoxious about it and just like attacking straight up the photographer or the person on Instagram that posted this picture. It's just not fun. You want to learn from it. You want to grow from it. So obviously having fun is part of it. So technically just sending it to me. I'll be having a good laugh, fixing it in Photoshop and enjoying myself at the same time. So have a fantastic week, day or whatever. Drink good beers and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Voila.